Once an old salt works, this urban wetland west of Melbourne is now home to thousands of birds from all over the world. Wetlands are often taken for granted, but their grassy and often thick vegetation provides valuable habitat for tiny little creatures. But the big question is, what makes two adult men do this? Sort of free, 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 free. <laughs> Welcome to Nature Photography Challenge. So today we're in Altona Meadows in the western suburbs of Melbourne. And you might not think of uh, this area as being a particularly um, birdy sort of place, but in fact, along the coast of Port Phillip Bay here in the western suburbs, there's a number of sites that are really good for shorebirds and waterbirds and so on. But one bird that occurs in this area that has constantly eluded me, Tom, is the brown quail. <laughs> It's very elusive. I keep, um, every time we're in an area like this, I'm always on the lookout for them or when we're down at the treatment plant. Um, I'm, I'm looking left, right in all directions, but I never see a brown quail. But people keep posting or, or these. Or you just see like the back end of a yeah. quail flying off at a yeah. great pace. So if you, I think, for, I think a lot of bird watchers, Tom, have a sort of a nemesis that they they can't quite get hold of even though it's not that rare and they feel like they should be seeing them. It's just frustrating. Yes. So anyway, our friends Tom and Lockie have joined us today. Now Lockie's been doing some vegetation management work out in the grassland here and he's got onto some spots that apparently are absolutely crawling with brown quails. So he's promised us <laughs> we're going to see some today. What was the word, Lachlan? Practically guaranteed. Practically guaranteed. Yeah. So, so here we are. So they, they live in grasslands around wetlands and salt marsh. This is perfect habitat for them. But as I say, no guarantee of actually seeing them. Um, and we're not only going to try and see them, we're actually going to try and photograph them, which ah, is going to be... That's the challenge. It's going to be easier said than done. And probably one of the most likely scenarios we're going to see them in is, is if they're flushed so we just sort of they'll be in the grass we won't be able to see them and we'll just stumble across them and they'll just fly up quickly into the air and then drop back down again into cover so we'll have about two seconds of view in which they're just flying really quickly and then dropping back down again and so our challenge is going to be to photograph a small bird that appears suddenly without warning flying extremely quickly for a short period of time, possibly away from us, and then that's <laughs> it. <laughs> so, it's not so much challenge as Mission Impossible, but I we'll see how we go. I think by now, but you're up to that. So, years of, of, of work has led to this, this, this point, I think. Like, yeah. you know. So, the best place to see the quails, so I was working all throughout in the Garnia, and I found the best looks I got of them was when I was walking out of the Garnia into this little open bit here. At one point I walked out and there was about 15 of them, they all flushed and then went directly back past me. I repeat, we are now entering a flush zone. <laughs> so was your captain speaking. Yeah. <laughs> the, look, the flush that we will get here will very likely be terrible and we won't get any look at them but they will probably be up around the buns and then they will flush in, in omnidirectionally and from very far away. And will they be in this low but They distichless... will be on the edge of the um, Garnia, wandering around. All right, you heard it here first. Prepare for an omnidirectional flush. <laughs> <laughs> Getting to the good bit now. Um, all the other spots have had no quail, so hopefully now, in this prime bit of habitat here, they will, they will not make me look like a fool. <laughs> Thank you. 
There it is. Yeah, it's just a blurry, but um, and out of oh. focus. But look at that. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that could be the one. It's a shite photo, there but, is, it, but there's <laughs> no, you know, no happening in the head there. Like, that, they all look very plain. Yeah, that's the best yeah. I've got so far. It's not bad. Could this be? <laughs> Are you going to do the dance or not? <laughs> no, too soon. Have too you soon. not got Grogfell yet? No, this is that's, that's that's the whole point of the day. <laughs> but there's a life to that. I, I've seen them, but the male hasn't. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's no need to tell everyone. <laughs> well, now the male has. <laughs> But thanks, Lockie, for putting us on yeah. the moon. That was just um, <laughs> It's my pleasure. You've you delivered. Once again, you've proved you've proven yourself to be not a fool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I could ever hope for. <laughs>